Now let's add the define directive to hold our instance of the TM Twitter class. While we're here, let's add a macro for a simple log statement as well. So I'm going to hit return a couple of times. I'm going to put pound define, and my macro name is going to be TM Twit. And the way we'll get a hold of our singleton instance is to use the shared instance. So I'll say TM Twitter shared instance. I put the closing braces on, and let's add our log statement as well. So we'll call this one TM log. And the TM log is going to take one parameter, and I'm just going to call this object, because this is going to require an Objective-C object. Here we're going to put in the NS log. And the way this will work, when we call this in code, we'll just say TM log. We'll pass in an object as a parameter. And what will happen in the code is it will insert an NS log statement at runtime, and it will substitute out the object for the NS log statement with the object we've inserted in the TM log parameter. So now that we have a way to talk to our TM Twitter class, let's go down to Obtain Credentials Submit button and enter the code for that method. The first thing we'll change is what is set when we grab the value from the text fields. Now we're not going to be setting an NS string here. We're going to be sending a message to our TM Twit class. And here we're going to use the dot notation. And we'll just say TM Twit dot username. And that's going to be equal to the username text field string value. We're going to do the same thing with the password. Now when the user types in their username and password and they hit the submit button, we're going to take those values out, we're going to talk to the instance of our singleton class, and we're going to set the values that it holds for username and user pass to the values we just retrieved. And we're doing this because our TM Twitter class, it's handling all the functionality for determining whether or not the user has credentials, whether they've been authenticated, and then it'll also handle communicating with Twitter to post new tweets. Now we look at our first comment here, we're going to check if the user is resubmitting their credentials. Now we haven't set this up yet, so I'm going to skip it and go on down to the next one. And this is where we're checking to see if they've entered credentials. So for right now, as an easy way to make sure that our application is working, I'm just going to log this to the console. I'm going to put a simple statement in here. It says if credentials, then the result will be 1. And since our has credentials method is going to be returning a Boolean value, that value is going to come back as a 1 or a 0, we need to use the percent %d specifier for integers. I'm going to close this panel here so we get a little more room. And what we're looking for is tm twit execute your method has credentials. So when we run this, if all goes well, we're going to put in our username and password, we're going to click the submit button, We'll retrieve those values from the text fields. We'll tell our instance to set its instance variables to those values. And then we're going to come down and log the has credentials method of the TM Twitter instance, which should return a 1 or a 0. 1 being if we entered them, and 0 if we didn't. So let's build and run and see if we entered our code right. If you remember, we hooked this up to our preferences menu item. Now the preferences menu item has a shortcut, command comma, so I'm going to use that, bring down the window, and I'll enter my credentials, and a password. I'll just use one, two, three, four, and click submit. And if we look down in our console, we can see that if credentials, then result will be one, and result is one. Now I don't know if you caught that or not, but when our window came down, our password field is showing raw text. I think we should correct that and use a password field instead. So let's go do that now. So I'll quit this. And we'll go back over and double click on main menu nib. I'll launch interface builder. 
I'm going to select the password text field, is to go over to the inspector under the identity tab and where it says NS text field as the class, just come down and choose NS secure text field instead. All right, that's better. So we'll save that. We'll go back, run it again just to try it out. Command comma to bring down our window. And I'll put in one, two, three, four. And we can see now we have little dots. No one can see your password. Much better.